Hello friends, this video on perimeter and area part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction Perimeter versus area Perimeter and area of a square Perimeter and area of a rectangle Triangles as part of rectangle Area of a parallelogram Area of a triangle Circumference of a circle Area of a circle, units conversion, and applications. So, even before we understand what is perimeter and area, let's look at some of these scenarios. Let's say that uh, this is a part of a village where each of these families they have certain portion of land for themselves. Now, when you look at this picture, you see that there is a vast stretch of land. Now the question is, how would each of these people, like let's let's assume that each house belongs to a family. So how would each of the families know that how much portion of the land is theirs? Okay, so in order to know that they need, they actually need to know how much part or how much region is theirs. Now let's say that they got to know that, okay, from here, starting from here, this much portion, let's say till here this part of the land is belongs to them so let's say this family got to know that only this much portion of the land is theirs now they want to put a boundary or they want to fence this portion of the land because it belongs to them so that you know they can distinguish this part from the remaining stretch of the land so what do they do they need they need to fence or they need to put a boundary or, or around this region so in this case in order to do this entire thing the first thing that they need to do is how much portion is theirs that is how much is the area that is for them the second thing they need to know is what is the length of the boundary only then they can fence it right so like you see this is done by let's say this house this family has done this so they have put this white colored fence so in order to put this fence they need to know this length only then you know they can bring the wires or with whatever they want to put that fence so in this case what do we see we see that these are scenarios where we need to know the area where we need to know the length of the boundary and area and perimeter these are the two terms which are related to these concepts let's look at another example let's say you want to uh, get a carpet flooring done for a room in your house or you want to laminate the door so how would you do that now let's say uh, if you want to uh, get a carpet flooring done for a room so you just can't you know bring without measurement you cannot do that because your room might be a very small room your room might be huge so the measurement in terms of how much is the area of the floor that is how much is this region so that you know you can get a carpet flooring done as per that measurement so what do you need you need the entire area or the entire region that is covered by that particular room in a similar way when you want to, to get a door laminated so the entire area that is covered by the door needs to be known perfect so these are examples where we use the concepts of area where we use the concept of perimeter another example let's say that uh, you have a wire so the wire is definitely a straight wire and you want to make that wire in the shape of a square now why do you want to do that maybe uh, to make a frame maybe you maybe you're trying to make a photo frame so you just want to make the base of the frame with this wire so now how would you know if it's let's say that you know the size of the square you need so in that case you actually need to know the length of the boundary of the square so that you can decide exactly how much length of the wire do you need so what is this length of boundary so whenever i am talking about the total region covered that total region covered is nothing but area as you saw here or as you saw here 
but the moment we talk about fencing like putting a boundary so we are concerned about the length of the boundary and the moment we talk about length of the boundary that is nothing but perimeter so in these two scenarios when we are talking about either fencing the field or you know uh, putting a, a wire in the form of a square so we are basically concerned about the perimeter so in this lesson we are going to learn more about area and perimeter and we are going to talk about how to find area and perimeter of different geometrical shapes like square rectangle circle triangles etc so let's get started so first of all let us very quickly and very clearly identify the difference between perimeter and area so on the screen you see different shapes like a triangle rectangle square a kite a hexagon so these are all different polygons so when we talk about perimeter perimeter is nothing but the boundary of a closed figure you consider any of these closed figures the total length of the boundary for example if you uh, consider this triangle so the length of the sum of the lengths of the three sides gives you the total length of the boundary similarly if you talk about the square the sum of the length of these four sides gives you the total perimeter of the square or a hexagon you have to sum up the lengths of all the six sides and only then you will get the perimeter of the hexagon so perimeter is nothing but boundary then what about area the moment we talk about area it is the entire region that is occupied by the closed figure for example again if you consider this triangle then this entire orange colored region the entire space which is enclosed by the triangle that entire space is area so everything with inside the triangle is nothing but area and what is perimeter perimeter is just length of the sides that is the total length of the black colored lines is nothing but perimeter so similarly can you tell me what would which which region is the area of this rectangle definitely this yellow region similarly the green region for the square the blue region for the kite and the purple region for the hexagon so these represent the area so area is basically the entire space which is enclosed by the polygon or any geometrical shape whereas perimeter is the total length of the boundary so this is a very simple and clear difference between perimeter and area so thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you